And this looks like those uh, farewell that we promised earlier. This, of course, is a uh, video of the crew saying their farewells with Karen Van Burbank and Vladimir Anton Shkaparov and Anatoly Ivanishin got into their Soyuz TMA-22 and closed the hatches. That took place at 12, 12 a.m. Central Time this morning. In the foreground of this view, you can see on uh, the left-hand side, Anatoly Ivanishin, and on the right, uh, Andre Kuypers, one of the three crew members staying behind. So, should we close it? Пока. Bye. See you. Bye. Take care. We'll do our best. Good view here, of course, of the station side of the hatch between the International Space Station. Uh, or its Poisk mini research module anyway, and the Soyuz TMA-22 that's going to be carrying home Dan Burbank, Anton Shkaplerov, and Anatoly Ivanishin this morning. They're scheduled to land at 6.45 a.m. Central Time. This uh, hatch closing that you're seeing actually took place a little earlier tonight, uh, finishing up at 12.12 a.m. Central Time. Since then, they have been working to perform a series of leak checks, and uh, the team here in the space station flight control room in the Mission Control Center in Houston uh, just reported that they had a good leak check of the vestibule between the two vehicles. So those are part proceeding uh, on time and as planned. Режим ССП выполнен, одиннадцать семнадцать двадцать. Крючки открыты, горят. Включил секундомер. As you can see, so we use TMA-22 now undocking. That took place right on time at 3.18 a.m. Central Time. Officially wrapping up Expedition 30 and ending Commander Dan Burbanks and Flight Engineers Anton Shkaflerov and Anatoly Ivanishin's time at the space station. It's been a total of 163 days aboard the International Space Station since they're docking to the Poisk Mini Research Module 2 on November 15th at 11.24 p.m. Central Time. Есть обобщенный ГСО. 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 The International Space Station. Не видно вас ни один иллюминатор. Didn't even see a view here from the Soyuz of uh, the International Space Station as it backs away from the Poisk Mini Research Module 2. Let's 
что то ли помашиваем крыльями. Ну аккуратнее там, чтобы не оторвались. Старинный радар по КРЛ. Заключительные операции мы будем делать. Ты понял. Just a few seconds now until the separation burn. Приняли, здесь работает депо. По плюс X. Can this one last 15 seconds? Ускоряемся. Погасло. Работа дупа погасла. And the team here in Michigan Crow reporting a good separation burn. So we use TMA-22 is now moving away from the space station at a rate of about 1.2 miles per hour, which should put them in a safe distance in time for the deorbit burn that will drop them back into the Earth's atmosphere and put them on a return course for Kazakhstan. <laughs> Шарбаунов без изменений 179, окислитель горючий 183. Once again with this unbocking comes the official end of Expedition 30 at the International Space Station. And uh, although the uh, baton was ceremonially passed at a change of command ceremony on Wednesday, this also marks the official beginning of uh, Oleg Kononenko's time as commander of Expedition 31 at the space station. View there in the foreground of one of the eight helicopters in the area to meet the Soyuz as it makes its descent to its landing site and coming up, as you can see, on that touchdown. Just a few seconds away now. And the team here in the International Space Station Flight Control Room confirming that the Soyuz TMA-22 has touched down in Kazakhstan. Anton, give him the corridor. And uh, you see the first of the crew members has uh, been removed from the Soyuz capsule. This is uh, Anton Shkaplerov, who was the commander of the Soyuz for its landing. He was seated in the center seat and as such was the first to be taken out. Next up, of course, will be uh, his crewmates, Anatoly Ivanishin and uh, Dan Burbank. We're about to get the second of the three crew members out. Uh, 
that uh, process, whether the Soyuz lands upright or on its side, does take a, a few minutes to complete. But uh, they're working uh, methodically to extract the crew members and get them into their respective seats, the other two crew members, that is. Uh, typically, typically the um, left-seater, uh, which would be Anatoly Ivanishin, would be the second one out. Uh, we'll see if that is the case uh, here. Sometimes uh, they reverse the order of the second and third crew members. There it looks like what we're seeing. Up. And it is, in fact, Ivanishin, who is uh, pulled out of the Soyuz spacecraft, flashing a broad smile as he is put in his reclining chair, completing his first flight into space, as uh, did his Russian crewmate Anton Shkaplerov. Uh, this, uh, however, this seemed to be one of the most pinpoint, precise landings, according to what we were told a moment ago uh, before I went on the air. Uh, the spacecraft landed uh, almost exactly where it had been forecast to. Of course, uh, the search and recovery forces are tracking the Soyuz uh, through a beacon signal, uh, GPS receivers. Uh, they had uh, voice contact, and now applause comes up. Dan Burbank now out of his and being carried uh, to his chair. We're going to walk over to see if we can get closer to him. Uh, he is in the process of uh, loosening uh, the helmet that uh, he wore during uh, the descent back to Earth. But uh, all three crew members now out of the Soyuz vehicle. Chief astronaut uh, Peggy Whitson uh, is uh, directly behind Burbank, asking him if he needs anything at the moment. Uh, Dr. Smith Johnston, his flight surgeon, and uh, Russian nurses are attending to Burbank as well. This is customary. They're placing a blanket over his legs. Uh, he'll have an opportunity to uh, re-familiarize himself uh, to the 1G environment here as uh, the moments move on before they're hoisted back into their medical tent, as I said, to get their flight suits off. And uh, now he's uh, about to receive congratulations from one of the head personnel for the Search and Recovery Forces, making sure if he needs anything. Kaplarov again there, waving at the camera as he passes by. Followed here by Ivanishin. Be careful. And here, Commander Dan Burbank. This tent was carried by one of the helicopters and uh, set up after they had met the Soyuz at its landing site for the crew to use once they had a few minutes to get used to gravity.